So today we'll be doing a quick unboxing of the MSI GTX 560. That's it. No TI. So this is a 560 non-TI. It features their Twin Frozer 2 cooler. It is an OC edition card, so it has the... Uh, well, it has some justification for the Twin Frozer Cooler because they have turned up the clock speeds. It features their Military Class 2 concept, which means using higher quality components in order to increase longevity, increase overclocking, all that good stuff. It's only 30 decibels under full load, uh, MSI says, and I believe that the Twin Frozer 2 is an excellent cooler. I just think it's awesome. All right, we've got a three-year warranty in the U.S. and Canada and Mexico. Don't know where else. Uh, the warranties apply or don't apply. Okay, it is 3D Vision ready, features PhysX, CUDA, NVIDIA SLI, up to two-way SLI on this particular GPU, and it has full support for MSI Afterburner. You also get a copy of Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light. This is a Steam copy, so it's quite easy to activate. All right, opening this up, you can see a little bit more information about exactly the stuff that I just said. And I'm pretty familiar with the Twin Frozer 2 cooler, so I think I can go in blind on that one without uh, seeing what MSI has to say for themselves. So the GTX 560 non-TI. So this is just a slightly cut down uh, card with the same basic GPU. So the performance is close, but not quite what you're going to get out of a GTX 560 TI full-fledged card, but it's cheaper. So there you go. Features, uh, not features, comes with a mini HDMI to HDMI adapter, a DVI to VGA adapter, a quick user's guide, some useless disc, there's your Lara Croft game, as well as your driver update guide. Alright, so go ahead and put this back in, and then put this back in, and let's have a look at the product itself here. Oh, no, no, more accessories. So, dual Molex to single six-pin PCIe connectors, two of them, and finally, the card itself. Comes in an anti-static bag. Twin Frozer 2 cooler hasn't changed much. You know what? Give me two seconds. I'm going to grab a 560 Ti. Yeah, I forgot my 560 uh, Twin Frozer 2. 560 Ti Twin Frozer 2. i got to be careful with that from now on. My 560 Ti Twin Frozer 2 is uh, part of the prize system I'm giving away, so it's upstairs. I'm not going to go get it. But this is a GTX 460 Hawk, and it uses the same PCB as the 560 Ti Twin Frozer 2. So you can see that it also uses the same PCB. You can see the Hawk is actually covered up right here as the GTX 560 Twin Frozer 2. So there's no real changes in terms of the physical layout of this board but I'm going to walk you through it anyway. We've got a couple of 92 millimeter low profile fans. So this allows MSI to maintain a two slot profile while putting in a dual fan custom cooled cooler solution. All right, we've got two super pipes. So here's your two regular heat pipes in the middle of the GPU and the two super pipes are going out further away from the GPU because they do need to carry heat a little bit more efficiently because they are going over a greater distance. You've got your standard PCIe 16X interface down here as well as, what the heck is this? This looks like uh, it's got a couple purposes. Okay, so, oh, that's something new. All right, so you can see on the GTX 460 here, there's uh, nothing here. And on the GTX 560 Twin Frozer 2, there is a heatsink here. So that would be for the, uh, the voltage regulators. So I guess MSI has just uh, beefed up the design a little bit here. And it looks like it's also going to provide some additional... Yeah, here, if you look at it from this side, you can see it actually wraps around the end of the PCB. And it, that should provide some stiffness to the card as well. And that won't be the only thing that provides stiffness to the card. So you can see up here, they're using their uh, PCB stiffener. Actually, they have a name for this but I've just forgotten and it looks like they haven't included it on the on the box either which makes my life more difficult but um, basically what it is is it's a piece of metal that allows the card to be more rigid overall so you can't you can't really flex the PCB you know what why don't we compare it against the 460 so here you can see how much flex there is in it right okay so let's compare that to the 460. I'll hold that the same way, and I'm just going to pinch it the same way. So you can see how that PCB can flex quite a bit more. Now, 
especially if you're moving your system around or shipping it, remember it's only secured by the PCIe slot and by the two screws up here. So if the card is not very stiff, over here there can be a lot of, uh, a lot of movement which can cause it to, I mean, I've even heard of cards in shipping, mind you, uh, before they used spring mounted screws on the backs of video cards, this is why everyone started doing it, where the cooler is actually coming off from vibration and from movement. It can also cause undue strain uh, on the PCIe slot and on the screws if you don't have that stiffening piece there. So that's, uh, that's one thing that they have added to this card versus the 460. We've got dual six pin PCIe connectors on the back of the card, so it should have support for almost any power supply, any modern power supply, should be able to run this card just fine. Here's your four pin PWM fan control. Uh, at the top of the board you do find your SLI bridge connector, so there is just one, which means two way SLI, not three way SLI. The back of the card looks pretty much like we've come to expect from anything using this particular PCB. You guys are welcome to uh, Look for them if you want, but I suspect you will not find any differences between the appearance of the 460 Hawk and the GTX Twin Frozer 2. 560 GTX Twin Frozer 2. These, these names are getting very confusing, I have to confess. All right, on the back of the card, you find dual DVI, if I can ever get this connector plug cover thing off, as well as mini HDMI, so that's why you have that adapter. Now, about the Twin Frozer 2 cooler, you can see here there are some vent holes, so you're going to have a little bit of heat being expelled outside of the case, but most of it is going to be expelled inside the case. So there's always compromises to be made, and the compromise MSI has made is they have opted for lower overall G te GPU temperatures, which should result in better overclocking at the by and sacrificing the overall case temperatures a little bit. So you want to make sure you've got a decently ventilated case with good cooling fans and you shouldn't run into any problems. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the GTX 560 non-TI. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.